but still have a ways to go. And, and there's still, uh, you know, I know we're we're kind of down on the on the food chain here in Charlotte County, really, in relationship to the uh, rest of the states and and really to Florida. Uh, uh, but we we do a lot, uh, do a pretty good job with the amount of money that we get per student, which is a little bit below the national average. Uh, uh, the national yeah. average is somewhere in there, 11, 12,000 a year, and yeah. we're in the neighborhood of seven to eight. We're about seven. Yeah, we, we rank right now with with what we just went through with the, the recession. Mm -hmm. We're down around 41st in spending. Um, but still being... And, and, but we're being able to achieve yeah. excellent results, which again goes against the grain yeah. from uh, uh, on the national level. They always want you to just keep throwing money at it, and there's no results that you're really no. getting for it. Here, on the other hand, you're doing a lot, uh, a very good job with uh, a lot less money. That's basically, I think that's the conclusion is, you know, we're improving, we're getting better, mm -hmm. um, even though we've we've been functioning with, with less over the, the last few years. So... Uh, hopefully one of the things we've learned through this recession is that it isn't all dependent on how much money you get. It's mm -hmm. what do you do with the money you have. Um, so uh, as, as funds, as, as we bring some level of funding back, then it falls upon us to continue to make sure that we don't just spend it the way we've always spent it. That mm -hmm. we we're really we really discern where does this money need to go, and most of that, the overwhelming majority, should be into our classrooms. Yeah, I, uh, agreed. Agreed. If, if the bureaucracy was a little bit thinner, probably yeah. get a lot more of that yeah. money into the classrooms. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, speaking of bureaucracy, uh, Common Core again, it seems to be a big issue nationwide. Uh, a lot of articles. Uh, uh, coming out recently in the negative of Common Core, and particularly some things that have been coming up in Texas that uh, uh, a company has been wanting to push on a national level under Common Core. And this, this C-scope, some of these uh, 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 lesson plans and some of the curriculum involved in that is apparently uh, uh, such that the teachers were asked to sign uh, non-disclosure agreements in Texas. Oh, <laughs> and so... And, and, yeah. we, and 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 kind of to that to, uh, along that same vein here, uh, uh, you know how I feel. I wish that the, the local school boards had much more power than, than they did. They just it just seems years year by year they just get stripped of more real uh, uh, influence. Yeah, they, and I wish they, they had struggle. more. All right, I I will I'll I'll give a tip of the hat to our new commissioner of education. Um, I know he, he came in not under the best of circumstances. He, he was unelected in Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, and and we hired him. And the, the state was sort of under fire. You know, you know, why are you taking somebody from the state that you know said they don't want him around anymore? Um, but he's 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 a true believer in, in in a couple of really important philosophical pieces, as as far as I believe as an educator. One is. Um, True accountability, and and that means that means way much more than just paying teachers because their kids do well on a test. Mm -hmm. But a, but a true accountability system, a quality teacher in every classroom, and make in determining that on multiple measures of of effectiveness in what good teaching is. He also believes in choice. Uh, the kids, every child in this country deserves to be able to go to a good school. Mm -hmm. And uh, and choice, not just you know the private sector or the charter area or public schools um, across the board, but also then appropriate accountability as well. And and Florida's not scored well. They've scored well in choice. They haven't scored well in the accountability piece for non-state public schools. So we give we give millions of dollars to the private sector that follow kids into the private sector and nobody can tell you how those kids do. We have no idea because the state does not collect any information whatsoever about what kids do once they leave the, the public sector. And, and Tony Bennett, our new commissioner says, well, that's, you know, that's not right either. If somebody's gonna take state money, then there should be some accountability, some reporting back as far as what did they do with that money and how did our kids do? Um, so, you know, I, I absolutely agree with him. Choice, the you know, parents need to have as many choices as possible. Uh, 
but they should also be assured that the school that they've chosen is indeed doing what they say they're doing. And there has to be that, that level of accountability. Um, and the other thing I like about Tony is he's a firm believer in local control. He says the more the feds can take their hands out of the state pie and the more the state can take their hands out of the local pie, um, the better. Well, that's great from a philosophical well, standpoint, but the reality of it is the feds are doing everything they can to continue to intrude at the state and local level. Well, so. And, and so is the state, you know, <laughs> and vice versa. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we have 330 new educational bills filed this year. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what some of them are? Uh, a lot of them, the, everything from, from safety to lunch to transportation to curriculum to assessment to... They, they run the gamut. Right. Um, and, and, and I will say, the tip of the hat to, to the legislature, they're not biting on all of those. Most of those haven't even been heard in committee yet, mm -hmm. so they're probably going to die. Sure. Which is, that's, and that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, not every piece of legislation is going to make it out. There, so. <laughs> no, and the three hundred and thirty pieces on education. <laughs> it kind of makes you wonder what they are. I'd like to see a list of those. Uh, let's take a call here. Hi, caller. You're on News Radio fifteen eighty with.